a little spontaneous thing happened today. It's April 5th. I decided with a few days off, we're gonna head to Tennessee. I uh, texted Cody. He's good to go. He's gonna meet me down there. He's got the boat hooked up. See what happens. Got four days. So we'll get there tomorrow, 4 p.m. Truck's all packed. I'm heading out of here just before midnight. We will see you tomorrow at some point. On the road again. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Yeah, that's gross. Let's get to it. Right place. Cody showed up fashionably late, but that's okay. Um, it's good to be here in Tennessee. We got four days ahead of us. We're out on the water right now, boat's all packed up. So our plan tonight, we can either go south or we can go north. Um, I got a bunch of spots pinned and I'm electing to go north tonight. I have about like 12 or 13 spots pinned. Um, so we're gonna go up there. If we can spark a bird, depending on kind of what we're dealing with, it's all gonna kind of be situational. Um, Maybe we'll hunt them, maybe we'll save them for the morning. If we got nothing though, I got a bunch of pins back down south. We're trying to stay away from the boat launch because I feel as if that's where all the pressure's gonna be. Let's get to it, because we got about three hours till dark. It stays light out pretty late. It's like 8.30 or something out here. Sunset, what, sunset's like eight o'clock. Eight, oh eight. Deal. Alrighty. Pinned it on Onyx, so we're coming down the river later on tonight. We know right where to go. Looks like we're already camp in there. <laughs> Looks like we got tables, dude. That's where we're camping. That's okay. money. You dropped the pin? Yeah, we're good. Before Cody got here today, I looked. So, so we can hunt any of the uh, Tennessee Valley Authority uh, land. Um, so I went up and I just pinned a bunch of spots that I thought looked attractive. We're literally gonna go north from here and just look at this entire right side. And hopefully we roost a bird, set up a nice camp right there. Cody picked that out, that's a beautiful little spot. What a nice little canopy. And there's already tables in there and whatnot, so it's perfect. But let's go roost a bird. We have about an hour and a half. Let's go.
There he is. Straight ahead. Right there. He's right in that back corner. Right over here. Right in that we corner. Need to get closer to him so we can... Let's get closer to him. Go ahead, drive the boat, get over there, because I want to get a better pin on him. He's probably flying down into that field in the morning. He's probably going to fly. Let me see if we're looking. Let me see this. Well, we're dealing with... Let's go back to camp. We'll talk about it there. There we are. Last time that got used was South Dakota. I thought it was going to blow away with me inside of it. Got all of our stuff. Got the boat docked right here. We're on kind of a little island. It's pretty cool. Pretty sweet out here. It's 521, April 7th. I feel like a grease cake and I smell bad already. <laughs> We're up plenty early though. We're gonna go get on this bird. He's 1.3 miles just up the river. It goes pretty quick though when you're in the boat. There's a small little open area. We don't know what he's gonna do because I'm not a mine reader. We think he's probably gonna head northwest towards the cow pasture. Let's go kill this turkey. Oh God! <laughs> Here, let me help you. They're gonna have to. You ready? Yeah. Your camera good? Yeah. What happened, dude? 
fuel's not making it to the motor at this point in time. And we're about in between camp and uh, no launch. So, yep. We've worked a few pieces today. No luck. No luck. But hey, at least we have other things to worry about. Actually, I have electrical tape. God. Let's get back on the road. I'm trying, man. You think it's gonna make it? Make it. Nothing to zip tie and some duct tape down there. <laughs> Fixer Cody. Well, I used electrical tape with a rubber gasket and zip tied her on there. It's holding pressure now. <laughs> <laughs> Close hey. enough. Hey, uh, oh, now I need to fix it again. Here. Sorry, we can't afford the best stuff. Like new, baby! Woo! There we go! We're gonna show you camp. You're gonna come back. Grab a few things to charge. Here, actually, you take them and you show them. Okay. Alright. So, this is camp. We parked the boat. It's like a little island kind of deal here duck blind right here and it's got a couple nice little tables utilizing them pretty yeah. good we got our tents here and we got our cooking devices these guys had a little fire pit here from before another tent but we got a pretty good view to wake up to in the morning but well, we're gonna get some batteries charged here and then we're gonna go try to kill a turkey back at the spot we hunted this morning. Uh, we're gonna go sit down. It's really early. It's like five, five o'clock. So we're gonna sneak in near where he was roosted. Hopefully get him on the way back. If not, we'll hear where he's roosted and we'll go in after him in the morning. Freaking hammer. 
and away, so we're gonna go pinpoint him where he is. He's like, he's across the water. He's in maybe one of these strips, this, corner of that. He's somewhere right there though. Gave up on that spot, just hopped back in the boat, used the paddle, we didn't want to turn the motor on. Came back over here, and he is gobbling within a hundred yards, we think. So what I did is I went on Onyx, and you know, roughly where we are, right here. There he is, right there. That set of big trees, see the big trees right there. Yeah, so that's like right, right here. Corner, that's the yeah. Feeling so well this morning. What? Said I'm not feeling so well this morning. I just puked up all my coffee, that's for sure. You got any napkins? No. Yeah, the grease rag. So oh. we're about. We're about. I don't know, 150 yards from this bird. I hope that we can get in here and kill this bird. So then Chris can rest up because he is not feeling good this morning. It's early. It's like maybe 5, 20, 5, 30, sunrise. Plus I'm shooting light. So when you're wicked drunk and you puke. <laughs> I feel like a million bucks now, dude. I was going to say, I bet you feel better now. Oh, I feel nice. I just, I just need this headache to go away, dude. Hopefully we can kill this bird, so this is worth it. <laughs> oh, we're gonna kill him. This is Mr. Throw Up. Good times. Let's go. Dude, he scared the hell out of me. I didn't even hear him fly down. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry ahead of time for the footage. <laughs> but, literally, how did that just go down, Chris? Dude. Like, we. I was we're just sitting here, we're sitting here waiting for him to gobble again in the tree. We never heard him fly down. All of a sudden, so... I, I thought it was a squirrel. Right, dude, I thought it was a guy. So there, were, there was a guy that had walked in and he walked right by us all the way up into the field. So I figured he was just kind of walking out. Yeah. But then I was thinking to myself, well, why would he already be walking out? 
and then the bird just popped up right there. Are you kidding me? So like I had, I had the camera off. Like I'm trying to conserve batteries because we're camping here and my power inverter isn't working. <laughs> and I had the camera off and I just clicked it on, swung the camera. He was like 10 yards and like didn't hear him fly down. Then nothing. Just all of a sudden look over there. He done. Just look over and he's right there, dude. Like right freaking. He was like right there. He's about 20 yards now, but he was at probably 12. At 12 yards. And he was starting to get creepy too. Yeah, because I swung the camera and I'm like, oh, okay. I, I, that's why I was like, shoot. Like, literally the you second. Got, you got the shot. The second I hit record, he's on there, 4K, so I can zoom in a little bit, but I'm not saying it's good footage. Dude, these birds, I mean, we've only been here for two days, but like, they're not easy. Cody said, I mean, if you, even if I'm not on them, kill them, but. Dude, that's crazy. He scared the hell out of me. He scared me. <gasps> I'm like... I looked up and he's 10 yards I'm just like, looking at us. Is this dude already walking out of here? <laughs> About a half hour after we sat down, this dude just comes cruising in here with a headlamp on. Running. We're like... The dude's jogging. We, we thought it was done and over with then. So... But... Hey. It worked out. This is good, too, because we got rain coming in in about an hour and then thunderstorms all day so we're gonna get all of our stuff charged up we're gonna get camp kind of just tightened up and i would definitely like to get out and roost a roost a bird tonight yeah we yeah. have to yeah i just i kind of want to explain what this area looks like so first of all we didn't call we kind of just prepared to be in the area that we thought he was going to come so there's a skinny stretch of open timber and it is open a lot more than i thought it was yeah. now that it's getting lighter out and it's only probably 70 yards wide and then there's a wicked thick cup right here so we kind of knew the bird was either going to go towards the pastures or he's going to come this way but we actually roosted two hens back this way last night so we figured he was going to come out of the roost and work this skinny open pinch area and it's spot on spot on it, it worked like a charm let's go check him out My first, Java, man. my first Tennessee bird, baby. He was right here. Yeah. Look back so, at the tree. He was standing right here when I first saw him, and we're sitting at that tree. Hold on, let me get that close. At that tree. And he was right here. And now he's dead right there. <laughs> he started he started coming straight away. I'm like, oh no, 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 no. That's why I said shoot, shoot, shoot. We're gonna lose the lose the game. Oh no. Two year old? I don't even know. Hard gobble and two year old. It's a great beard though. You love when it when it comes together. I thought I thought the hunt was was over, dude. I really did. That guy right through here. Yep. And you got real sick this morning. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> I can talk about that too. This is the cure to a headache right here. The headache is absolutely gone. We were we were pulling up to shore right here this morning. And I started. I probably puked six times out of the boat. <laughs> Dude, I was just, I felt like crap all night, like it was just wicked migraine. I am going to take another two Tylenol because I definitely spit those up. Because yeah, I, I was also worried that you had sat down right oh, there. Oh, no, I, I we, heard you. We, we saw your headlamp and we're like, <laughs> just want to make sure you know we're in here too. Yeah, I thought there was somebody here. Were you on a boat roosting last night? Mm -hmm. Or you no. walked in from the, I just boat, in. the boat launch? Yeah, right. I just live right over here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. Right. Yeah, we wonder because like we didn't hear a boat or nothing. Yeah. Well, we we hunted I think this bird yesterday, and he just didn't do what we want. And... That's not bird. 
bird, yeah. Small hooks, but mm -hmm. good beard on them. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what about that? Well, that's good. Thank yeah, goodness. absolutely. Yeah. Heck of a morning. Hmm. We did. We definitely. We thought it was. was we thought it was a done deal. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> we didn't even hear him fly down. Like he must have just glided. So where was he roosted at? Uh, somewhere right here. Yeah, because I had, heard him gobble right over there. We yeah. had him pinned last night because we roosted him. We were right here. <laughs> now, so well, I'm glad you got it. Thank That's you very good. much. Thank you. That's the hardest two-year-old I've ever hunted. Here's the plan. We are going to wrap up camp, all right? And, um, what's your name again? Yeah, no joke, I keep forgetting. I'm, it's, I know his name, but, okay, so he, his buddy Colby had pins down south, and I just don't want to be up here anymore. We got a bird, I want to get the heck out of here and go south. We're gonna reset up camp tonight when we roost. We're gonna charge batteries, capture footage. He's probably gonna edit a little bit. So try to be productive during the day. Um, and it's gonna to rain too. So hopefully tonight we roost another bird. We'll have another good morning hunt tomorrow south of here. The gas station in Hardy's, kind of hanging out. We got all our stuff on the boat drying out. We got pretty soaked. And Chris is gonna clean his bird. So I think that's gonna wrap up the video. Um, just kind of stick with us. We're gonna be here for tomorrow and Saturday and, and maybe even Sunday, Cody. So we're gonna go try to get a bird roosted tonight. And if we do, you'll be able to see that in the next one. Please like, subscribe, and. Uh, check out all the turkey content that's coming this spring.